Hey, Sprouts! Today we're learning about the planets in our solar system. Let's start with the sun. The sun is a star that is made up of hot gases. It is the most important source of energy for life on Earth. The light of daylight comes from our sun. When we look in the night sky, we see lots and lots of dots of light. Every one of them is a star, just like our sun. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and is the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury doesn't have any moons or rings. Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun, and it is the hottest planet in our solar system. The temperature on Venus can reach 880 degrees Fahrenheit. Earth, that's where we live. Earth is the third planet from the sun, and is the only known planet to support life. Earth is the only planet that we know of that has bodies of liquid water on its surface. Seventy-one percent of our planet is covered with water. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and it's also known as the red planet because of its reddish look. During the day on Mars, the sky is pinkish red, and the sunset is blue. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet out from the sun, and is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter's nickname is the gas giant because it's primarily made up of gases. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest in our solar system. Saturn is best known for its fabulous ring system. Saturn also has more moons than any other planet, with 82. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. Uranus is so far away that you need a telescope to see it. Uranus is the coldest planet in our solar system. Temperature on Uranus can reach negative 371 degrees Fahrenheit. Uranus is often called the ice giant. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth and furthest planet from the sun. Neptune's days are very short. One day takes 16 hours. This is because Neptune is not solid, but a gas planet like Jupiter. That was so cool, Sprouts. We have some awesome planets in our solar system. What's your favorite planet in our solar system? Hey, Sprouts! Today we are learning about animals and their habitats. Habitats are the natural home or environment of an animal, plant, or other organism. Let's help these animals find their homes. Where does the crocodile live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the crocodile lives in the savanna. Where does the narwhal live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the narwhal lives in the Arctic. Where does the zebra live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the zebra lives in the savanna. Where does the polar bear live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the polar bear lives in the Arctic. Where does the flamingo live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the flamingo lives in the savanna. Where does the penguin live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the penguin lives in the Arctic. Where does the snowy owl live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the snowy owl lives in the Arctic. Where does the walrus live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the walrus lives in the Arctic. 
Where does the cheetah live? In the Arctic or in the savannah? Yes, the cheetah lives in the savannah. Where does the giraffe live? In the Arctic or in the savannah? Yes, the giraffe lives in the savannah. Hooray! You helped all the animals find their homes. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Let's see our ABCs. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S W, X, Y, Z. Good job, Sprouts. Let's say it again. And faster this time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. W-X-Y-Z Good job, Sprouts! See you next time! Hey, Sprouts! Let's say the animal alphabet. A is for alpaca. A, A, alpaca. B is for bear. B, B. Bear. C is for cow. C, c, cow. D is for dog. D, d, dog. E is for elephant. Eh, eh, elephant. F is for frog. Frog. G is for giraffe. J, j, giraffe. H is for horse. <gasps> horse. I is for iguana. I, I, iguana. J is for jellyfish. J, j. Jellyfish. K is for koala. K -k -k koala. L is for lion. L -l lion. M is for monkey. M -m -m monkey. N is for narwhal. Narwhal. O is for owl. Uh, uh, owl. P is for penguin. P, p, penguin. Q is for quail. Qu -qu quail. R is for raccoon. R R raccoon. S is for seagull. S, s, seagull. T is for turtle. T, t, turtle. U is for unicorn. Y, y, unicorn. V is for vulture. V, V, Vulture. W is for Whale. W, W, Whale. 
X is for X-ray fish. X, X, X-ray fish. Y is for yak. Yak, yak, yak. Z is for zebra. Z, z, zebra. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Let's count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's count faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's say it again, but even faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today, we're taking a trip across the oceans. Around 71% of the Earth is covered in water. The major body of water is the ocean. The ocean is divided up into five major oceans. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. Let's learn more about the five oceans of the world. The Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean and it covers around one third of the Earth's surface. It separates Asia and Australia from North and South America. The Pacific Ocean got its name from the explorer Ferdinand Magellan. He called it the Mar Pacifico, which means peaceful sea in Portuguese. The Mariana Trench is the deepest place in the world at 35,797 feet under the Pacific Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the world's second largest ocean. It separates Europe and Africa from North and South America. The Atlantic Ocean is about half the size of the Pacific Ocean and covers about 20% of the Earth's surface. Many years ago, some people thought the Earth was flat and that ships would just fall off the Earth somewhere out in the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean gets its name from the Greeks who called it the Sea of Atlas. The Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean in the world and covers 20% of the Earth's surface. It lies south of Asia and India and separates East Africa from Australia. The Indian Ocean is also the warmest ocean in the world. The range of temperature for the Indian Ocean is between 66 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The Southern Ocean. The Southern Ocean is also called the Antarctic Ocean. South Polar Ocean, or Austral Ocean. It is located at the South Pole. The Southern Ocean is the fourth largest, or second smallest, of the oceans. It covers only 6% of the Earth's surface. The Southern Ocean is the youngest ocean because it was formed only 30 million years ago when South America and Antarctica moved apart. The Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is located at the North Pole near Europe, Asia, and North America. It is the smallest and shallowest of the world's oceans. It covers less than 3% of the Earth's surface. The Arctic Ocean gets its name from the word Arctos, which means bear in Greek. The Arctic Ocean is also the coldest ocean on Earth. For most of the year, the Arctic Ocean is covered in ice. Hooray! That was a fun trip. We learned everything about the world's oceans. What oceans have you seen? Hey, Sprouts. Today, we're learning about shapes. Square. Rectangle. Circle. Triangle. Pentagon. Star. Diamond. Oh, 
Heptagon. Heptagon. Parallelogram. Heart. Cross. Arrow. Octagon. Good job, Frog. Let's say them again. See you next time!